what's up guys welcome back to another video before we get started with the bumper and front lip installation I just want to go ahead and tell you guys hopefully you guys will learn you guys will happen to learn from my mistake uh, or maybe you're just not dumb enough to actually do it but uh, long story short I took my car to the shop to get the bumper repainted as you guys know it was damaged and uh, but the only thing is I decided to drive the car back home because they weren't able to keep the car there because of so many cars that they have over there. I thought it would be okay. I had did, I drove it, well I drove my IS300 back then without a bumper and honestly I don't remember if I got on the highway. I think I did once and nothing happened. Um, but this one wasn't, it didn't, you know, that wasn't the case. Uh, I drove all the way back home. It was about a 40 minute drive. I stopped somewhere but it was like maybe less than 10 minutes away from home and by then it was too late um, I didn't hear it on the highway uh, and I stopped by I stopped somewhere to take a picture and that's when I realized my whole inner panels were shredded um, the front the front part I guess it wasn't willing to deal with like 70 mile per hour winds pushing up against it and I guess it pushed it up against the uh, the tire. So as you guys can see here, all this is cut. This is supposed to be straight, uh, but everything is just cut into pieces. Um, I don't even know where the, all the other plastics went. Uh, the other side is exactly the same, so I'm gonna have to replace both of them. But luckily I found a set on eBay. Why did it focusing? Look it. So I found a set on eBay, and they were actually labeled as OEM quality. I got it for a little under $50, so that's not bad for both of them. Honestly, even though it's $50, I shouldn't have spent because of my stupid mistakes. Uh, worst case, if you guys do happen to have to drive with your uh, without your bumper on, try to zip tie the plastic panels somewhere up against the, uh, I don't know, somewhere. That way, so if the wind does happen to push it back, at least the zip tie will keep it from actually rubbing against, against the tire. That's just a suggestion. I don't know if it's going to work. But if you have no choice, that's the best thing that you might want to do. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I'll put a link in the description. This was the last set that I got. But I'm sure they're going to come up with more sets. Um, I don't know if they're all the same on eBay. But just as my personal preference, uh, or I mean, as a reference, I'll link the ones that I purchased on the uh, description. I'm not going to do a tutorial on, on it because it's pretty straightforward. It's just a few bolts. And once I'm done with that, we'll go ahead and move on to the bumper and the front lip, which that's a good part. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So I wanted to get this for you guys in case you guys do happen to buy this lip in the future. Um, this is how I mounted it. I ended up using my own bolts that I went to uh, Lowe's to pick up. Normally what other people are doing is um, they're using the factory screws that actually go into your uh, under trace. But because mine actually ended up breaking off, um, I don't have a place to actually mount the lip on it. And um, I think this is a lot better. Uh, there's a less risk of a, the, uh, the bolts actually coming out. So what I'll do is um, I'll post a picture of uh, the bolt size that I use. And then I use some self-tapping screws I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine self-tapping screws, because um, there, there has been two stories already of the, uh, the lips coming off on the highway, and I didn't want to run that risk. I didn't use any tape, um, but as you guys can see, that's pretty much all it really it's gonna need. It, it might be a little bit of an overkill, but at the same time, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? But um, I'm in a rush, so I'm gonna hurry up and get this bumper on, and then I'll show you guys uh, the after. I'm looking at it right now, so if you guys see me looking at the camera, I'm looking away from the camera, that's why. Um, I just had to get away from the sun, uh, because I mean, standing out in the sun, like, it, for one, it's hard to see, and then it's just it's plain hot. Um, but, I mean, I love it. It's exactly what I'm going for. I'm going for an aggressive look. But, 
I mean, it's just, I mean, we're getting there. Um, there's still a few more things that I want to do to the exterior. And um, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see how the outcome is. Um, I think I'm gonna end up raising the car up, uh, let's say half an inch. Hopefully that clears it. But yeah, guys, um, let me know if you guys like it. Leave a comment down below. Uh, if you're interested in getting the lip, I'll put a link in the description. Um, yep, any other questions on it? You guys already know what to do. Message me. And if you're new to the channel, if you, do, if you don't mind, do me a favor and subscribe for more uh, videos. And drop a like if you know this video was any kind of help or if you just found anything that you liked about it. Um, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.